The things that delight you, like that hot, spicy, yeah, never for me. Can't do it. Not going to go there. For me, it's it's uh, c- cinnamon is one of my most delightful mm. fragrances and tastes. Like it almost it makes almost everything better. Cinnamon. The only Absolutely. thing I can think of is steak. You wouldn't put it on steak. You know what though? Or Have you ever chicken. had Cincinnati chili? No. Cincinnati chili is something you put over spaghetti. And the chili is flavored with cinnamon, huh. and it's quite good. So, because I'm trying to think, what, like a list of foods that you wouldn't put cinnamon on, but almost everything, <clears throat> almost everything. I mean, yeah. not not well, even like celery. I'm trying to think yeah, of random I, uh, foods. Well, like my, chicken, chick, meats. Chick, yeah, but chicken. I'd put it on chicken. No, my my wouldn't. wife makes these green beans that she puts this like cinnamon Ooh. brown sugar kind of thing. On. Oh, it's really good. And and I'm. Have you ever have ever put your tongue into the center of a cinnabon at you know the cinnabon stands at the airport, uh, the gooey center? I, I haven't know? fallen that low yet. <laughs> I haven't. I always see the people there and judge them mercilessly. I'm like, you but know, I'll, those, I'll get there. You know those cartoons where like the the coyote, you know, wily e. coyote would smell something and you like float through the air yeah. to find it. <laughs> That's what like, happens to everyone at the airport. When I'm walking through the industrial airport. Industrial fans blowing the, the smell of the wood. And the Cinnabon stand smell is floating through the airport. I'm like, <laughs> floating off to it. There is a, I don't know, something about cinnamon. Ever since I was a little kid, uh, it was a delight to me. And I, I love uh, Neil Young's song, Cinnamon Girl. Like this is my song when, I, when I'm in a certain, I make myself very vulnerable here. Let's but do it. When I'm in a certain place with the Blessed Mother in my prayer, yeah. I'll sing to her Neil Young Cinnamon Girl. I don't know what it is. I haven't heard it. Uh, she's song. my cinnamon girl. But she's my cinnamon girl. So Mary, Mary is like, to me, she's baking up the bread that comes down from heaven, right? Her her womb uh-huh. is the oven <laughs> yeah. that bakes the bread from heaven. Yeah. And for me, because she, the taste is conformed to my palate. Yeah. It's like a delicious cinnamon roll. I know it. That sounds really weird out of context, but we'll make sure that's a clip. Just a, <laughs> we'll make that a we'll make that a forty second. Clip. But it does. It says it right in scripture that um, she smells of cinnamon. That yeah, the, she smells of of anker, ochre. I don't even know how to say that spice. Uh, henna blossoms and cinnamon. Yeah. There's something to that. And and what is cinnamon? This fascinates me too. Where our actually, food comes from. Do you know I don't really know. Is it some sort of root that's dried? Tree bark. Tree bark. I didn't know that. I guess it makes sense. It looks like it. I say bark. You say bark. Bark. Tree bark. So what is a cinnamon tree? What it's a it? cinnamon tree. They take the bark. Have you seen a cinnamon stick yeah. where it's kind of curled up? Yeah. That's a little chunk of the bark. That's is gotten... it a small tree? I don't know what kind of tree it is. I mean, I haven't, can't I say I've, I've looked at a cinnamon tree. But you take the bark and you See, this scrape is why, it. This is why we need a gigantic TV here, so you can yeah, look that up and show it to us. Put it. You scrape this tree bark, you know, grate it, you put it on your tongue, and it delights you. Yeah. What the heck is going on there? Yeah. And why did God give us these taste buds anyway? So when I uh, found out I had COVID, I, I started getting aches and all that. But when I first lost my taste and smell, I thought there was something wrong with the other things, like the external things, and not me, which is a nice analogy. Because I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I cracked open a tin of espresso and pulled it back, so it was brand new. And I'm like, "This bloody gone off." Mm. I showed my mm. wife. She's like, "No, you have COVID." <laughs> I couldn't smell or taste anything. Have you guys had COVID? Same thing. Did y'all lose your? Sp- I, think. I never knew that I didn't. Yeah, I was trying to a really good pizza that I knew was going to be so good. And I just couldn't taste it at all, and it was so disappointing. And I was like, "What is going on?" I, I, I thought there's pr- something wrong with the pizza. I want to yeah. press into this because right. the experience of having no taste being so depressing to me, when it returned, I had a deep gratitude, and it did. It took me to a deeper understanding of sacramental reality, that the pleasures, the delights of this world, are meant to be signs of heavenly delight. And I mean, take it the whole way. I mean, you can't you can't have a biblical reading of reality and not recognize how significant eating is. The original sin, the symbol of the original sin, is eating, mm-hmm. and the symbol of the consummate reality of our redemption is eating. Eucharist, right? There's something going on. And back to cinnamon trees, right? Both of these meals, the original sin and the meal of our redemption. 
we get from a tree. There's something going on here with trees, yeah. eating, fruit, desire, hunger, longing, all consummated in a meal. We, we consummate our faith. We consummate our union with God through eating. Mm. And if it's real, if the Eucharist is real, your tongue and my this fleshy bit, yeah, right there, if the Eucharist is real, that is the meeting point of heaven and earth. Mm. Think of how babies take in the world, right? Everything is in the mouth, yeah. right? And you have to learn the hard way <laughs> that there are certain things you shouldn't be putting in your mouth, right? And this, this, it's a, it's a, it's a desire for knowledge. It's how we gain knowledge of the world. Ah, uh, we want to taste it. We want to feel it. We want to experience it. We want to experience it in our mouths. And this desire to know through the mouth. I mean, we learn the hard way what not to put in the mouth, but this desire to know through the mouth doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. uh, what is a passionate Absolutely. kiss? Absolutely. It's the first thing I was thinking about. What yeah. are we doing? Yeah. What the heck is that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, open mouth, tongue slapping, slishing, sloshing. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it? In the first line of the Song of Songs, right? Kiss me with the kisses of your mouth. Yeah. It's right in the opening verses, right? Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me with the kisses of your mouth. So the, the thing by which I take in the world, in a sense, and the thing by which my wife takes in the world, meet. Yeah. Yeah. You know what bugs me? What's that song? Um, it used to have the line and it's been taken out. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. We, it, uh, he gives us the big sloppy kiss. Yeah. What is that song? Yeah. Um, some he heaven meets earth with a sloppy yeah, heaven, wet kiss. Heaven meets earth with a sloppy wet kiss. Yeah. Some people just couldn't handle that. Yeah. And and so there's versions of the song where they That's remove right. that. Yeah. And I, okay, okay, I, I get I get why that makes us uncomfortable. It makes us uncomfortable because the enemy is after that sloppy wet kiss to to conjure up in our minds distortions and perversions. Yeah. And quickly, this whole mouth desire to know the world and experience intimacy gets. <laughs> twist it up, that's the enemy's goal, precisely to keep us from entering the glories of kiss me with the kisses of your mouth. Saint after saint after saint says that that line in the Song of Songs is fulfilled in the Eucharist, where we are mouth to mouth with the Lord. Uh, I learned this from Bishop Barron, that the word adoration, if you pick it apart, ad ora means at the mouth. Ha. Huh. Mouth to mouth, adoration, wow. ad aura, at the mouth, mouth to mouth with God. Him, it's amazing. It I is. didn't realize that. And it's the fulfillment of every Cinnabon. <laughs> it's the fulfillment of every taste, treat, delight. Yeah. It's the fulfillment of your love of hot, spicy food, mm. which I can't relate to, but I love about you. It's awesome. Yeah. Because that's, that's madness, right? That's yeah. something beautiful about you. But all of that yearning to know to taste, to take in, is fulfilled in the Eucharist, if we have eyes and taste buds of faith. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.